right in the middle of it, yeah. That's life.
the race car is cleaned up at the racetrack. What about the dude? <laughs>
right, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect time to get something from the concession stand. Uh, if you're not full from there, I'll tell you, I've seen a steady line at the concession stand. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I'll tell you this straight away, we've seen a lot of controversy the last two races I've done here. The Big Daddy 500, who was here for the Big Daddy 500, oh, Junior yeah. Jr. and Randy Weaver had some of the same controversy. Made contact, hit the wall right here at the flag stand. Billy ended up on top of the fence, almost went out of the racetrack, just like just like the 15 of uh, Patrick Dugan did. I'll tell you, trouble spot. Straightest part of the racetrack sometimes seems to have the biggest accidents. So we'll get these cars cleaned up here pretty quick and see if we can get back to racing. Probably going to be a time important event for the Crate Lake models. Who thinks Pierce McCarter, the Y71, is going to bring it home? How about the Orange C5 of David Crabtree? How about the 10, Chris Wilson from Crossville? Uh, don't worry, I didn't forget him. How about the number 29 of Dublin Express, Jason Wilson? Yeah. Talking to Jason just now, he says he believes he can get it done. I'll tell you what, I know that guy always puts on a show. Was it Burley's here a couple of weeks ago, and I'll tell you, he drove the wheels off this yellow car. I was excited to watch Jason. Patrick is okay. 